it going guys real rabbin here back at it again with another video and we're going to darlington so without further ado let's put the chassis in there we are going to have number four let's put the engine in there we're gonna have number two yeah we're building a new one so we're gonna put number two in there and then body will be number four another pretty okay car uh, 61 obviously not the highest but let's see what we can do with it I'm gonna practice a little bit and then we'll go to qualifying and hopefully find some sort of line or feel in the car that will help us with Darlington um, I remember the apron does work in this game so we're gonna try to use the apron a little bit and see if we could do anything Decent lap. Okay, we can work with that. Okay, I'm I'm grateful. Like guys, this is this is gonna be a race that we are going to really have to uh just grind it out. So uh, I'm very grateful for its whole uh, starting position. So here's the call from MRN. This is Joe Moore along with Barney Hall for MRN, and we're live at Darlington Raceway, the granddaddy of super speedways in Darlington, South Carolina for the Carolina Dodge Dealers 400. Every driver who comes here has one goal in mind. Don't add any paint to the wall. What makes Darlington so tough? The tight groove they have here makes this a very difficult racetrack. It takes total concentration, but the drivers all race long to be successful here. Hermie Sadler comes into this race hoping to turn his success around at a speedway track. Yeah, I have been surprised to see him run so poorly on these tracks. I can only imagine how he feels. An impressive average finish record for Ricky Rudd. If you finish top ten every week, then the championship becomes an attainable goal. This team wants to get the big money at the end of the year, so they're going to be working even harder to keep up this string of top finishes. Brett Bodine hasn't had a good start to the weekend. Yeah, he was due for one of these bad starts, though. Nobody can start up front all year. You're going to have a bad qualifying run now and then. We're gonna be on the outside too, so I'm gonna be kind of scared right now. Okay, green flag is out, and AI looks like they're checking up a little bit. We got force away to the inside, force away to the inside. There we go. Perfecto. Okay, that's the best start I could possibly ask for. Let's settle in and see how this crazy Darlington race will go. Checking up, they're checking up. Wait, you don't want to go side by side. No, no, no. Be smart here, be smart. Number 88, Dale Jarrett is very fast. If he gets around me, he gets around me. I'm not really going to try to hold him off. Oh, wow, that was close. Wow, that was very close. Okay. I mean, there's not really anywhere you could pass, Jarrett, so if you want to pass me, you go to the inside of turn three. Looks like we have a chance to get Robbie Gordon, but Rusty Wallace is all around us, or all over us. Go on the apron here, see if we can get some grip, which we don't really. And Rusty's on our outside. Hi, Rusty. Didn't even know you were... I, I had a feeling he was there. Okay, be careful. And we clear Rusty again. Right back on the uh, bumper of Robbie Gordon. Very, very close racing right now. Number 31. 
I don't know if I tapped him. I think I tapped him. I don't. That was that was a weird move that I played there. And we clear Robbie Gordon. Again, very tight coming off the corner. But we clear him. We are in the top 10 at Darlington. I cannot believe I'm saying that. Underneath, I think that's... Yeah, that's Nadu. Okay, underneath Nadu. But not really going to be able to hold it. So, maybe just be patient here for a little bit. Jarrett looking up the inside. I'm going to guard that. move there. Up the inside. I think he's still there. He is. He's still there. Can I get the run coming off too? Oh, a little bit of contact. A little bit of contact. A little bit of contact. We saved it. We're going to lose a couple spots, but it's better than wrecking the car. So, oh boy. I thought I was giving him enough room, but I guess not. Let's get Kenseth out of here so we can get that inside line. Wow, that was close. Oh. I could just get this car to turn right here on this line. I can maybe get underneath Junior, give him that tap, and clear him in a one. And go, oh, Burton, hi. Didn't need to check up that much. Sorry. I know you're my rival. Apologize. Oh boy, tight, tight. Wow. I was getting tight. Sorry. I am so dirty. I apologize. But this track doesn't have a lot of room. My bad, my bad. Three wide. My bad. I apologize. I, I, I will send you a text message after the race. Sorry. Oh boy. We'll share a draft with you, Hob. We'll become friends again. Sorry about that. Starting to struggle a little bit everywhere. Junior's on our outside. I can't really stop him. Oh boy. And he's our, he's our rival too, so uh, got to be very careful. Hi, Junior. How's it going, buddy? can't yeah we're gonna all right you know what we're doing better than expected so let's just relax here for a little bit i'm gonna chill oh there they go both my rivals going to pit road thank you guys and we will just continue on we're gonna pit this time pitting this time by follow rusty wallace slow it down right there okay all four tires are not repairing any damage we have everything where it should be Let's press done, and hopefully, I pray to God that my pit crew does not make a mistake. Let's see how this goes. Gotta be kidding me. Guys, you have to be fucking kidding me. Come on! Oh my god! Another really bad pit stop. 20, well, 18 seconds. Jesus Christ. We're running around 14th. We're probably not going to be around there. There's Junior. So we've lost about 2 seconds to him. Just so... How many times is this going to happen where the pit crew will let us down? Come on, man. I just asked for a clean pit stop. I'm not even asking for a fast one. I'm asking for a clean one. With no mistakes. Very frustrating. I feel like I got Kevin Harvick's pit crew. Just continuously making mistakes. I just need one more spot. I need one more spot. Come on. Come on. Please, Harvick. Nope. See if I can get him? No. How does he get that kind of run? Uh, the reason why I'm frustrated, guys, is because we have to finish at least 15th, and we would be in that position if it wasn't for our really idiotic pit crew. That continues to cost us spots. These guys have about three lap fresher tires than I do. It's going to be very hard to catch them. I'm going to try. But just so frustrating because now we are only one spot away from our goal, which would pay us a lot of money. We are losing out on a lot of money here if we finish 16th and not 15th. And for the second race in a row, it will be likely because of the pit crew. Now, I got Sterling Marlin all over me trying to defend from him. Very frustrating. What we have to hope for is basically a mechanical in the top 15, uh, so we gain one more spot. But if that does not happen, then it looks like this is where we are probably going to finish even further back. 
because I'm struggling on uh, pretty old tires here and I uh, got a little bit of damage as well and the car's a little bit loose as well and kind of lost the momentum we had at the beginning of the race can't really hold these guys off so uh, yeah it's just a frustrating way again second race in a row maybe we could get Sterling Marlin back you know what this would be a great time to pay back Sterling Marlin for that stupid stupid thing he did at North Carolina last season uh, but I don't think I'll be able to catch him so not really gonna be an option I get a really good run through one and two don't get the best of run coming out but now we're really struggling in three and four I would love to get the Sterling Marlin and I just can't I can't if I drive it in too deep like that I get loose and lose all positions I mean in reality I was not even expecting to be running this well at Darlington I was expecting to be running 30th or something like that so um, in reality we, we kinda are a lot better than what I thought we would be but uh, just again just frustrating that you had yeah you have the opportunity there and you know it's out of your control once you head in a pit road and uh, yeah just uh, another frustrating way and uh, Sterling Marlin I will get Sterling Marlin, Marlin back for that North Carolina incident at the proper time. When I think the proper time is right, I will do it. Uh, but not right now. I think the next race, if I'm correct, I always think the sixth race of the season is at Texas. I don't know, uh, but I think it is. If we are going to Texas next race, I'm very excited because I know that that's a very good track for us. Uh, so hopefully once this race ends, we're going to be going to Texas. I don't know, but hopefully. We lose one more spot. I couldn't hold Warburton off, but coming out of turn four, gonna be 19th place at Darlington. A little bit frustrating again, but I don't even know how many times I said frustrating this this episode. But Tony Stewart wins the race. We are in kind of the same area that we were at Atlanta, so yeah, we created a lot more rivals though. As you can see, what I was worried about was the sponsor income. We didn't get the money I wanted from it. So that is the problem. I'm going to go R&D now and see what we can do. Uh, we don't have any shop editions going on as of now. So I think what I'm going to do is... Actually, next race is Bristol, not Texas. So we're going to Bristol uh, before we go to Texas. But um, we're going we're gonna to probably do a shop edition for engine efficiency. Because if you, if you put too much power into the car, you actually lose out on efficiency. You could tell that... Uh, from Daytona and Talladega and stuff like that, we, we actually run out of fuel uh, most of the time. So we are going to uh, upgrade efficiency, and then once that is done uh, and I have a little bit more money, I think the next thing we're going to do is the big engine upgrade. Um, I think it costs $1.5 million, if I am correct, but it's going to be a huge, huge, huge benefit to us if we can get it. Um, so I'm going to quickly go to R&D after this really long loading screen is done, or saving screen, and we can see what we'll do. All right, here we go. So team management, we're going to go to shop additions, and now we have the shock dyno, which will allow building track-specific chassis. Uh, again, that's basically 1.5, um, and then we have the engines. So we have the engine efficiency, which will be 300k. And then the engine dyno, which will be allow building track-specific engines, that will be um, basically 1.5. So it's a... Uh, I, I want to get this in before the next couple of restrictor plate races, so that will be around race 18. Right now we're on race 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, quickly increase the engine efficiency. That will only cost 3 races. Once that is done, we will then go in and put the... Um, new engine, what is it called again? The engine dyno, we'll do that. Um, so that way the efficiency isn't really uh, hurt and we could get more power. So we're going to do this, put that in, that's going to be going for three races, and then we will make up some more money and then go straight to the 1.5 mil upgrade, which will be so beneficial to us if we could get that done, and then we could start building new engines and we will be very good from there. The most important thing from now until basically race 12 or 13 is going to be getting is going to be reaching the sponsor objective which is top 15 not we, we're not going to be pushing for wins or put we're not fast enough yet but we're not going to be pu pushing for wins we're not going to be pushing for top fives and top tens as long as we are in the top 15 we get that money 
and that is what we need. So next race will be Bristol. I think I'm going to change up the paint scheme as well for next race. Uh, so I, I might. I don't know, but I might. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I will see you guys later, and peace out. Boys like me and lost boys like me are free